A few months ago, I posted a video sharing an idea that I had. This idea was for a SaaS or a software company. And what this software would do is help designers and developers and website agencies offer monthly recurring site maintenance. And it provides a dashboard, um, kind of a reporting dashboard, so you can have a visual way to show your clients what they're actually paying for. Now, since posting that video, we've had well over a thousand different designers and developers that have joined the wait list to try our beta program and then eventually to use the software, or at least they showed interest. Now, we were really excited about that feedback, and so I wanted to push this thing to market as soon as possible. So we got an MVP together built on Bubble, and we started a small beta group. And what we found out really quickly is it just wasn't going to work because we had done it too cheaply. The design, the UI, the UX, none of it looked fantastic. And it just was a little bit too clunky and difficult to use. And so once I reached that point and realized that people weren't loving it as much as I thought they would, I realized that it was the way that we had built it. So I decided that it was time to bring in an expert. So I brought in my friend, Mike Triff, who came in and completely revamped the way that this software is going to work. And what I'm gonna do is give you a little insight into the Figma file that Mike's been working on. And I'm gonna show you kind of this process start to finish. So now you can get a really good kind of vision of what this software is going to do and if it's something that you might want to use down the road. Now, the one thing that I'll mention about kind of the pricing of this software is you only pay for it once your clients are paying for it. So essentially, you should never go in the negative, right? And the way that it works is for you to have a single client dashboard, which I'll show you what that looks like in a second. It's gonna be just a couple bucks a month. And ideally, your clients would be paying you 50 to $2,000 per month for these services. And so the hope is that it's a total no-brainer. All right, so, First, you're gonna have this login flow, which isn't terribly interesting, but we wanna make it easy to create an account. We wanna make it easy to log in, and, and we wanna be able to get you in and use the tool for free without ever having to give us your credit card, right? And so what this is going to look like when you sign in is you're gonna have a dashboard that shows you really just two things. It's gonna show you your recurring revenue from clients, which in this case is zero because we have none yet. And then you're gonna be able to add clients. Now, once you add a client, it's going to take you through this entire flow and all of the information that you put here is going to populate your client's dashboard. And so once you've done this, you're gonna be able to come over here and select which different services you want to offer or show on the client's dashboard. So as of right now, we have these top three options which utilize APIs to get very specific data. So we've got site security. So this software that we're using is actually going to go audit and double check all of your client's sites to make sure that they're secure. Um, next, you'll have page speed. So it's gonna show you all of your page performance scores. And then also traffic. We think that being able to show them a basic overview of traffic and performance is a really great way to show them that you are actively tracking these things. And then after that, you'll have a few other options. And we're gonna to continue to add to these and have a lot of different templates to show you or give you ideas of what different services could be highlighted. So for example, if you have a certain number of retainer hours, if they're paying extra for priority support, um, form testing, plugin updates, uptime monitoring, uh, if you're gonna offer content or anything like that, you're gonna be able to create custom cards on your dashboard. So once you generate this dashboard, it is going to take you to a screen that looks like this. And this is going to be your view of the client's dashboard. It's gonna have all of these small cards according to those additional services that you're offering. And then it's going to have your site security, your page performance, and then you're gonna be able to connect to Google Analytics to show them whatever um, date range of traffic you'd like to show them. And then you'll also have a few other options like to show them how much traffic came from organic, direct traffic, and then at the very bottom to make sure that this is completely white labeled for your business or your agency, you're going to be able to add your logo right here at the bottom and then that's gonna be universal all across the board. So you're gonna be able to edit all of these. Um, I think there's a good view right somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So you're gonna be able to create small cards let me zoom in a little bit more here. You're gonna be able to create custom small cards to highlight different details. 
and custom large cards. So if you have a full report, maybe it's an SEO report, if you wanna film a video or embed a Loom video, anything like that, you can do that in these large cards. And then once you create those cards, they will automatically update inside of this dashboard, okay? So once your dashboard is all connected, you're able to see it, you know exactly what it's gonna look like on your client's end, because you'll be able to preview that then it's going to prompt you to pay just a month to month for your dashboard. So once this is paid, it's going to activate all of the APIs, which actually cost us money. So we wanna make sure that you're paying before we're paying, right? But I think as of right now, our goal is to have your first client be completely free. So this wouldn't even be relevant to your first client project. So once you publish that dashboard, you are then going to be able to send a report that has a link for them to create an account and log into their dashboard. And then on your client's end, they're going to log in and you'll see we've just used uh, the pentagram logo. That's to represent your agency. So it's gonna be a total white labeled login for them to come in. Once they create an account and log in, it's going to show them this entire report. So all the details they need, they're gonna have quick ways to contact you however you would like that to, to be done. And then they're gonna see all of the cards that you have added, including any notes that you've taken. Here I've got a, a little screenshot of a training from my friend Arnau, just as an example of what you can implement in these large cards, right? And then at the bottom, you're going to have your custom branding. Now with this entire software, the goal is to give you the easiest and cheapest way to basically take this idea of site maintenance and site upkeep and then just make it visual for your clients. And they get an email reminder every month saying, hey, we've updated things, everything's good on our end. And I have been blown away at how much clients love this. They love having somebody kind of guard over their website. And so this is gonna be really easy to sell, especially with a software that, uh, that is very dumbed down and simplified like this, that gives you only the things that you actually need. So currently we are very, very close. In fact, it's almost completely developed. We just need to finish the Google Analytics API so you can connect any one of your analytics properties and show that data. And then we just need to work through kind of like the smaller details of user and client management. But then we're ready to rock and roll. What I think we'll probably do is open up another small beta group to try this new version because it's, it's a lot better than our first round. Um, and once we get everything kind of dialed in and, and tie up any loose ends, we're gonna open this up to, to all of you. Now, like I said, our goal is to have your first client be free. And then as of right now, the goal is that each of your client dashboards will be about four bucks per month. And again, you should be charging $50 or more per month for that dashboard. So the hope is that it's a no brainer, but I would also like to hear what you think down in the comments of this video. Do you think that's too expensive? Do you think that that's going to be worth it? Is there anything in the software that you feel like you would need or your clients would want to see? Um, really your feedback is, is so, so valuable to us because we want this to be a tool that you can all benefit from. And again, my hope is that this makes your business 10 times more profitable. It helps you really put this extra focus on recurring revenue. And I think it's going to be an awesome upgrade for all of our design businesses. So please let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video or you're excited about the software, you can hit the like button down below this video. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the link down in the description or the comments and you can join the waitlist to make sure that you were one of the first ones notified once we finally go live. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.